I am under pressure constantly from this I'm game. I'm just sitting here watching cartoons. If any of you fine black date rejects is bored, come over and see. I mean, Riddler goes Don't without saying. I love door. Riddler's voice. You'll spoil the surprise and my experiment. I'm trying not to simp too hard from him. I don't want to be weird. But like, you already know. You already know what it is. I'd do anything for that man. Oh, I. Did I just come out from right here? No, I didn't. Look at these dudes. Dead. What y'all building? Aging Dr. Howard, Dr. Fine, Dr. Howard. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I meant to sneak up on you. My bad. I mean, if I see Scarecrow in this game too, it's game over. I become a villain real quick. Am I supposed to be in the visitor center? I guess so. Come in! Sit down! Take off your mask! So that's... I was thinking, you really could use a friend in here. Someone to talk to, share secrets with. Shall we start with the big one? Hey, don't drag me for the scarecrow, oh, okay? <laughs> Hold up. Mask. Why do you feel the need to go out into the world and fight people like me? Do you really think you can win? We'll see. <laughs> Um, oh, okay. First of all, have you seen Killian Murphy as Jonathan Crane? I mean, the the argument should end with that. There were these two guys in a lunatic asylum. Oh. Oh, hell, you've heard that one before, haven't you? Let's just get down to business. You're probably wondering how this is all going to turn out, aren't you? Is it driving you bats, bats? <laughs> you probably thought you could follow that idiot guard to the old man, didn't you? Sorry about that. Hang on a second. If I outsmarted you, and I am, well, quite clearly insane, what does that make you? Ooh, ooh, ooh. An idiot sandwich. Alright, um... I guess there's nothing... I don't need anything here, right? I can't do anything. I'm just walking around in first person. Riddler, I cannot I cannot do these riddles right now. I'm sorry. I am dead set on plot and even that I'm struggling with. I thought what Gotham did with Oswald was pretty good. I mean, talk about a character I did not care about at all. And just made me fall in love with him. I thought he was great. I think they pick like the perfect actor for Oswald. Oh, hey! Hey! <laughs> I didn't see you there. Where's I was in Gordon? detective mode. Wouldn't you like I'm to over know? here. Shut up! Ah, you crazy bitch. Oh! Ah. What's he doing here? It's too early! I'm sorry, Puddin. Don't be angry with me. Mwah. Oh, you little minx. I can never stay mad at you. Sorry, B-Man. You'll have to find another mode. Bye now. Those hips. No way. Oh, look at her go. Security gate. Gotta find another route. 
Oh, I see a little thingy. I want the little recorder thingy. Man, I wasn't listening. <laughs> I hate to see her leave, but I love to watch her walk away. I mean, to be fair, in the Batman Telltale series, I did end up liking their version of Penguin as well. But that was after I watched Gotham, so... That actor really stole the show for me. He did really good. They made Hello. Penguin and Batman Telltale, like, idiot. really hot Don't for some reason. I don't understand that. Wait, I came from this way. Oh, here's something. Here we go. Alright. I'm not that bad at this game. I'm getting the hang of it. Um... Draw a little bat. Just stroll on in there. Aging doctor. Find an alt route to the medical facility. That's the plan. I want all the doctors rounded up. Search every inch of the medical building. I mean it. Search every room, and every office, and every trash can. Why? Leave me if alone. If another doctor tries to run and get out of the building, yeah. then you won't. Oh. I'll just flood the rooms with happy gas and leave you to die. Hell, I may do that anyway. I want that trophy. Dude, don't remind me about Telltale's Riddler. I'm still, I'm still crying about that one. But yeah, he was really good. He's, he's a pretty great portrayal of how I view the Riddler as being. I claim him. He's, he's a valid Riddler. Where am I going? Oh, here we go. I like what they did with his cane, too. Like how it had a grapple thing and all that. I thought that was creative. I thought that was cool. And how he almost like used it as a scythe with the little question mark at the end. Apparently, his character was like 60 years old. You find that out like in the last episode. Like, bro, that did not look like a 60-year-old man I was scrapping with. Did I come from here? I came from here, didn't I? <laughs> I gotta stop doing that! There's nothing in here? Alright, great. Cool. I had a 50-50 chance of going the right way. <laughs> it just did not happen. Get off of me! Shut it! Get down there with the others! Okay, okay, I hear you. I'm going. Why does he need the doctors? I've got to save them. Which way do I go? <laughs> I want to look around first. Hold on. Hold on, doctor. All 
I guess it doesn't matter. All right. Who's here? Glide Turk. We got five people. I'll get you first. Oh, dude! Hold on, I can't see. We get up here. Don't shoot at me. I lost track of You lost track of me. Aha. Uh -huh. Losers. Aging Dr. Bat. Aging Dr. Bat. Is there a Dr. Bat in the room? <laughs> what kind of psycho built this place? No hospital I ever been. You're next. Oh, oh no, I'm not. <laughs> oh no, oh no. So you just walk into that wall like that? Dude, what's your problem? Why are you yelling? That's what I get for trying to be stealthy. This is why I'm a button masher. Is anyone feeling a little stressed out there? Your heart racing? Get a grip and stop that, or I'll raise your blood pressure. <laughs> Got a shotgun in here. Got me doing the most in here. What the? <laughs> that was so stupid. Come here. Come here. Hello? Is there a doctor in the house? No? The room's clear. You're safe now. Alright. See ya, thanks for joining. Um, hi. I don't know what happened. One minute we were doing our evening rounds, and the next, armed thugs burst into the room and took us hostage. Her voice sounds familiar. Did they have anyone with them? They took someone into the elevator. I couldn't tell who it was. They obviously didn't want to be followed. The elevator appears to have been powered down. You're going to be okay here. We'll be fine. What about the others? We heard gunfire. They could be dead. We should go and help. Oh no, I forgot. Dr. Kellerman was in the patient observation room, and Dr. Chen went to surgery. And Dr. Young went to x-ray. Okay, stay here. I'll find the other doctors. Batman saved us. I never really believed he existed. You okay? We're safe. Batman saved us. What are you doing to these people? They do not look happy to be saved. They do not look saved at all. Free these men. Oh, a thing. Patient <gasps> 21. Patient's name is Edward Nigma, also known as the Red. Okay. So, Edward, Warden Sharp tells me you've been leaving threatening riddles scrawled on the asylum walls. Again. One would have to be severely paranoid to read threats into harmless riddles, Dr. Young. May I test you with one? Very well. What is it that walks 
walks on four legs, then two legs, and finally three legs. A human being. As a baby, it crawls on four legs. As an adult, it walks on two. And in later years, it uses a cane. <laughs> Good try. But the answer to all three is a baby. True, it crawls on all fours, but cut off its legs and it can only wiggle on two limbs. Give it a crutch, it can hobble around on three. You see? That's horrible. How can you even joke about that? Easily, Doctor. It's not my baby. Wow. His mind. <laughs> Alright, uh... Hello? Remember, a happy patient is a quiet patient. Let me introduce you all to the sterling work of our new head of research, Dr. Penelope Young. Since joining our team two Let's years ago, bit. Arkham is now in the forefront of research into understanding the human mind. Good afternoon, Arkham. Let's talk about the mind. How can such a complex entity be understood and right, eventually let me go back. treated when it breaks? I want to check everywhere. Project Titan's goal is to create a test bed to fully probe our special cases in a safe, risk-free manner. Our goal is to cure the more unfortunate families, those oh, who fit into the challenge that our medical practices present. Project Titan will make us a world. Project Titan's goal is to create a test bed to fully probe our special cases in a safe, risk-free manner. Our goal is to cure the more unfortunate specimens, the weak, those not physically up to the challenge that our medical practices present. Project Titan will make us a world-class facility, an award-winning facility. Creepy. Welcome to Arkham Asylum. Our staff are here to help Last you. Well, yeah. Oh, I hear you people. You can operate on me anytime. I hear there's a lie. Remind Why did Joker want her alive? No idea. Unarmed. All right, good, good. What happened that time at the train station? Our low security wings offer normal, but oh, they want to square up like right away. Breakdown of our costs and health care. They did not hesitate to get into the mix. Yeesh. Was it worth it? Children's area? Arkham has a children's area? This place sucks. I have done exactly as you've asked. Look, you think I can stop the whining and let oh. them go. Oh. If anyone goes near you without Joker's express permission, then I've been ordered to make sure you are taken out ASAP. Let me Looks just, like uh... you're a bargaining chip. Gotta tell you, the boss is all over this job. Plan like a military operation. Friends on the inside and out. I am quite aware that this job, as you call it, requires friends. What I want to know is why you chose me. Did Joker specify me? I want to listen in. Talk to him? I'm sure we can settle this. Lady, if I have to tell you once more, I am going to hurt you. You understand? Shut the hell up. If the boss wants to talk to you, he'll talk to you. Till then, keep that trap of yours zip. Rude. Oh! Oh! <laughs> My bad. I meant to detonate it. If you can let me go, I won't be any- There we go. No, no, no. <laughs> She's dead! Someone tell Joker! Too easy! Oh! Played you Whoops. like a violin and cut your strings. Nighty night, bats. Whoops, 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 whoops. I didn't, yeah, probably should have thought that one through. Need to be like this. Let's try this. And there's another side too. But will that be enough? Why are you doing this? Let me speak to Joker. Keep quiet. I'm not going to spoil your gap and nothing take. Um, I guess let's just try it. Got it! 
Okay. Hi. You're okay. You're good. Can I... Hi, Penny. What's going on? They were talking like they were in control. Is it true the Joker escaped? Unfortunately, yes. But not for long. I'd been studying Joker's case for months when he broke out. The warden was very specific he wanted Joker cured. Bad publicity will affect cured. his campaign for mayor. That'll be the least of his... God, I almost forgot. They said they were moving through the facility, hunting down the other doctors. Don't worry, doctor. I rescued you first, and now I'll search the other rooms. You wait here. It's dangerous out there. I mean, it's kind of weird we're saving there these doctors. There are still more medical staff that need my help. I mean, this place obviously sucks. And it's obviously pretty unethical. So do I really care about these doctors? Am I thinking too much into it? Our findings have led to debate. This is not a nice place. Toxic, and whether potentially all damaging here. changes to the brain are related to the length of psychotic episodes. Project Titan allows us to strengthen the individual's ability to cope with such changes. Early results thing. were promising, but it was only after the arrival of Patient X that our expectations were raised. Patient X was the catalyst that led to a full-scale adoption of the Titan process. We must all thank our benefactors for this opportunity. We represent all medical specialties and offer a wide range of medical, surgical, diagnostic, and wellness programs. High quality of care, coupled with Arkham Asylum's convenient location, have ensured we are voted the number one facility in the entire state. Times have changed at this establishment, and through our pioneering techniques, we Here believe we that anyone can be cured. Welcome to Arkham Asylum. Our staff are here to help you. When Amadeus Arkham built this fine institution, Some you would people believe I can beat it would be on. the premier psychiatric evaluation and rehabilitation center it has become. Everyone knows the stories of the various so-called super criminals who've been treated here, but that is only half the story. Our low security wings offer normal but troubled individuals a safe haven for recovery. An extensive breakdown of our costs and healthcare packages Who's the guy? That means or some of bitches cash. What's wrong with you? Don't you know nothing? Cash had a disagreement with Killer Croc a while back. Croc got free and chowed down on Cash's hand. Yeah, so if you see a giant monster running at you, just shoot it, or you'll be next on the menu. Psychiatric profile of your problem offspring? Times have changed at this establishment. And through our I don't think I can sneak up on these guys. Can anyone I? can be cured. We represent all, all right, what's up? <laughs> yeah, it's me. It's me. You're gonna bleed out your face! convenient location. Gotcha. You got bones coming out of your head? Is that your hair? Was this firefly too hot off the press? Thing is, Razor didn't get out of the time. He's stuck in here too. Oh, that'll teach him to dilly dally. Don't let anyone out of there, even Razor. I won't let innocent people die. Search area to continue. He was slowing us down anyway. Don't cry, Cash. You're right where we want you. I'm gonna get out of here, and you're gonna wish you were back in your cell. <laughs> Whatever. He's here. No, oh. Clock deal. Um, Cash, where's the other guy? There was an alarm in medical. I heard someone shouting and found the doc lying on the floor. When I went to help him, the room was flooded with gas. These doors locked down. We can't get out. Don't know how long we can last. How oh, brave. Let's give Mr. Cash a great big hand. He could use one. <laughs> oh, that's me. Sorry. You'll be laughing out of your butt when I get out of here. Lighten up, Holmes. I'm just messing with you. 
Can't wait to return the favor. Leave it, Cash. Can you control the ventilation system in there? Drag. It's a no-go. He disabled remote access. I'll find a way. Gotcha. I already know. Joke is still the room with gas and we're trapped in here. I can sit in here all night, but the dock over there ain't looking too good. I'm on it. Don't worry about it. Hello. Um, what's up? I take it I cannot fall down there or I will die. Whoa, what happened to you? What are you doing all the way over there? dead dead I killed that man I can't let that man die oh I have to clear the room of toxin as quickly as possible how how details Batman details Can I glide down, maybe? <laughs> there we go. Here we go. I see it. Power the man too. She's doing it, Doc. We'll be out of here soon. Stay cool. I wanna get that thing. Got it. Any more of them? Oh, kick off like that. I didn't even notice that one. Um, detective mode. Let me just get that one. All three bands are green. We got full power. Room should be empty any time now. Guys, surprise! Batman arrives just in the nick of time. Next time, Cash, I'll just shoot you. Better luck next time, Joker. Aaron Cash, how are ya? You okay? So what's going on? My radio went dead soon after you brought Joker in. Excuse me. Cover your mouth. Um, let me look around. A thingy. Saved interview 39. Patient's name is Edward Nickbox. At this point in time, I've yet to decide if Mr. Nigma is a suitable candidate for the Titan process. I'd like to talk about your childhood. Mm. Miserable. Next. By all accounts, that is where your fascination with riddles began. I believe discussing those years could explain your compulsive behavior. Very well. My father hated me. Always called me a moron. I see. I was determined to prove him wrong. So I entered a contest at school. 
A $20 prize to the kid who could figure out an almost impossible logic problem. I won, of course. And that pleased your father? Hardly. He was convinced I had cheated. He kept yelling, you must have cheated! Admit it, you moron! You cheated! But I swore I didn't. And he hit me for lying. I'm sorry to hear that, Edward. Don't be. He was right. Well, doesn't make it okay to be mean to your child. I hate parents like that. How are you gonna get jealous of your kid for succeeding? That's crazy to me. Anyways.